Welcome to Scott Cooks. Today, I'm going to try to answer a question. I've been asked many times, is there anything you can't do in the Ninja Foodie? Well, so far, there's nothing I haven't been able to do in the Ninja Foodie, but we're going to try one tonight that is uh, definitely not designed to be done in the Foodie, but we're going to do it anyway. Stay tuned. What we're going to do, we've got a chicken breast, bone-in chicken breast, in a cooking bag. Now, this is totally frozen, <laughs> right out of the freezer, and um, if you don't have this kind of thing in your nearby stores, all you got to do, if you want to try to simulate this, is just get a small chicken, a Cornish hen, or a, a chicken breast that's frozen, and buy yourself a cooking bag. And you can do the same thing in your foodie. Let's get started with this. All right, here's what it looks like. Tied up with a, a staple there. Mine's actually labeled this side up. And the instructions say to roast it for uh, two and a 15 to two and a half hours. Two hours, 15 minutes to two and a half hours until we get 180 degrees. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, you're supposed to preheat the oven to 400, but as we know, the foodie is basically a miniature convection oven. So you wanna lower your temperature and your time's gonna be a little less. So we're going to set this to 350 degrees. We're gonna preheat it to 350 and we're going to put our chicken breast straight into the foodie, close the lid, cook it for two and a half hours. Let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to put a small slit in the um, bag because it will uh, expand and we don't want it to pop in, in the foodie on us. All right, let's get going here. Fire up. Bake roast, of course, to get it started, you gotta have the lid shut. The uh, 350, go ahead and start. Uh, don't worry about the time. This is a, a preheat. I'm gonna give it five minutes to preheat, and we'll just set a kitchen timer or something for that. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna put a little slit in the top of this bag. Very small, about an inch. All we want is a little bit of steam to escape so we don't uh, burst the bag in the foodie. That would be a nice mess. Okay, the foodie is preheated. We've got a little one inch slit cut in the top of our bag. I'm gonna place that in the foodie. Close the lid. Bake roast and I've adjusted the time to two and a half hours, 350 degrees. And uh, in the one hour mark, We'll come in and just take a look. I don't expect to see anything. And then we'll check again at the one and a half and then the two hour mark. And at the two hour mark, we'll probably go ahead and probe it and uh, see what temperature we're getting to. Because um, you know things do cook faster in the foodie than in the oven, unless you're using a convection oven. <laughs> Let's check back in about an hour, guys. This is a 30 minute check. Things are looking fantastic in there. Starting to get just a little browning already after 30 minutes. It's just a little of the juice browning up. It's looking great, guys. Let's go another 30. All right, this is the one hour check. And what I see, you probably can't see it on the camera, but I see some nice browning, and I've got a lot of juices over in there bubbling away. So this is just coming out perfect so far. Let's keep it going. We'll check again in 30 minutes. All right, one hour. Let's check it. It's looking fantastic, guys. So far, nothing has leaked out of the bag. The bottom of the foodie is dry. I got bubbly, sizzly uh, liquid going on down in there. I think you can see that.
I think you can see that. But anyway, uh, it's browning up nice. It's looking great. Uh, it's not ready to check temperature yet. Uh, 30 more minutes. We'll check. We'll come in with our probe and we'll check the temperature. Let's keep rolling. All right, we got about 30 minutes to go. Let's go ahead and check out temperature. I'm using a probe here. And got the little slit I cut in the bag right there. you on that. You need 180. I don't think you can see that. Sort of. I'll let you know what it is. 156. 58. Got 160. All right, we're getting about 161. About 20 degrees off, and we got 30 minutes to go. That should work out perfect. Let's let it roll. Okay, we have hit 180. We're actually at 189. So this is ready. Uh, we have about um, 20 minutes or so left on the timer. So this got finished up uh, pretty close to what the package said. Two hours, 15 minutes to two. 30, so we got this in uh, just around a little over two hours. I'll be back in a few. I'm going to let this sit and cool now and um, rest a minute. And I'll get it out and we'll cut into it and see what we got. Smells fantastic. All right, I just pulled the uh, chicken and bag out of the foodie and that's it. We got a little, little mark on the bottom. Let that cool. Wipe it out. Boom. Easy. And that's what it looks like, still in the bag. It's sitting on a platter right now. I'm going to let it rest for about five minutes, and then I'll cut it open. A fair amount of juice in here, guys. And the skin slightly stuck to the bag, so I am just very carefully peeling the bag away. Some super hot steam coming out of this thing. So you got to be really careful, especially when we get down to this. Uh, we can't let any of that boiling hot liquid get on us. I'm thinking about puncturing the bag and letting it just run out. Like so. Just to get it out of there. And uh, that way, with it still in the bag, mostly in the bag, once I get a lot of this juice drained out of the bag into the platter, I'll just take the platter over to the sink and just drain the whole thing and then bring it back. That's the only thing I can think of here, because I don't want to get that on me. That's some hot stuff. Okay, that worked out pretty good. I just punctured the bottom of the bag, let it drain in the platter, took the platter over to the sink, and just um, let it all just drain right out. And normally I would just take some scissors, but since I have a little skin sticking to the bag here, I'm uh, working on it a little slower than just ripping it open. There we go. It's obviously too hot to handle, but I'm just going to cut into a piece for you. Let me grab a fork here. First, we're just going to check the tenderness. Oh boy, that is incredibly tender. Aha, look at that. I pulled that right out, right up by the bone. Excellent. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Click that like button for me. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the description for the Patreon links. Leave me some comments as always. I appreciate those. And I guess we can go ahead and answer this question. Um, is there anything the foodie can't do? Well, I don't think so. I think it can do everything. <laughs> hey, we're going to keep trying, right? Uh, this was interesting. I've never seen anybody do a, um, a chicken in a bag in the foodie before. And boy, did that work out perfect. Thanks for watching, y'all.